Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. It is Monday and we're starting off the week with getting my stitches removed in my ear. Um, if you guys didn't see my last vlog, I got my first ever ear piercing stitched up because it was just like so long and every time I wore like hoops or earrings or something, they would look like they're falling off my ear. Um, so I got both stitched up and more info on this process is in my last vlog. So like I talk about the cost the process, all of the healing and everything like that. So it's all at the beginning of that video. I just parked and I'm gonna head in. Today's actually gonna be a fun day. I have a coffee meetup right after this. I think I have a meeting today. I, I, oh my God, yes, I do, shoot. Later tonight, I'm gonna do a happy hour at a new restaurant here in Austin. It's called Summer House. I've been actually dying to go. Um, we're gonna do like happy hour. So I'll take you guys along for that. Obviously it's Bachelor Monday. I am a big Bachelor franchise stan. stitches are out guys and it was really painless and it took maybe 15 minutes i thought it was going to take an hour um so i just texted hannah and i was like hey i'm done early if you want to meet up earlier now thinking back on it i don't remember getting like stitches like this and ever getting like stitches taken out the only other time i remember getting stitches in was with my breast reduction and they actually used dissolving stitches so they didn't even have to take those out i am so excited for the cinnamon roll i have been dreaming about this ever since the first time i came here which was a while ago wait i literally think it was the week of my breast reduction recovery because i couldn't do like much but i wanted to get out of the house so we came here because <laughs> i saw it on instagram so it was like definitely over a year ago we're at teal house say hi hannah hello <laughs> we're all bundled up <laughs> been on my computer for a while i am really trying to plan out my whole photography feed because i don't post enough especially because busy season is coming up and i want to market myself a little bit more than i have been so i really need to get better about that and i'm going to dedicate today to doing that um because i have all this content and i'm like why am i not posting it i'm really just not great at captions and i feel like that is definitely what makes me not want to post because i'm like shoot i have to like come up with some random caption that somewhat relates to the photo i'm so sad because i feel like everything's getting canceled for this week there's a big weather advisory right now for icy roads because the temperature is dropping and it's going to be super rainy this whole week so we moved our happy hour to next monday and then i am just gonna go ahead and try to reschedule tomorrow's plans because it says 80 percent chance of rain tomorrow and i know on like super rainy days like that i don't love leaving the house even though i should um but i feel like this whole week is going to be a huge admin week which honestly i need this because in order to get to those filming days like you have to have content ready to film and like drafted and you know the ideas and everything like that so notion is going to be my best friend this week and i also use planoly to plan out my instagram grids i know some people don't really care about their grids anymore but i feel like as a photographer it's important to have like an aesthetic feed about to join my call just had some chili for lunch <laughs> it was really good it was actually really filling okay let's do this i am in austin so i went to south by southwest and like went to all the like to know what events last those could be like sub categories love that um and i love how your content like the way it looks all of that is looking really good hey y'all it is actually friday and this week has just been wild because we had another one of those texas freezes so number one it was super cold 
number two it was very icy you couldn't really like leave anywhere if you didn't have to a lot of trees were falling down so people were actually losing power too luckily i did have power but i basically did nothing but like do computer work the whole week so literally nothing to vlog but i'm picking it back up and i think i'm just going to take you guys throughout my weekend because when the sun is out i'm thriving and today is friday like i said i actually have a few calls i had one yesterday too which is so odd because I feel like I don't really ever have calls. Um, kind of exciting, but also very nerve-wracking. Yesterday's call was for a possible brand deal, so I didn't even like secure it yet. So I was even more anxious because I was like trying to like not like sell myself, but you know, convince them that I'm the person that they should choose for this campaign. So that definitely made me very nervous, but today's calls will definitely be a little bit more chill. Um, and then tomorrow, my friends and I are gonna go day drinking. We're gonna go to brunch and I don't know where we're gonna go day drinking, but I'm so excited because like I said, this whole week I've been pretty much stuck in the house um, and haven't really gotten like too much human interaction. So it'll be nice to catch up with everyone and just have a little girl's day out. My bangs were pretty like messed up from working out. So I threw it in this headband and I don't hate it. Like it's definitely something to get used to, but it's giving cheetah girls in the best way possible. I need to actually log on to this call right now. So I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit later. Got off my second call for the day. And last night I couldn't be bothered to cook anything. So I made some Trader Joe's um, pollock paneer and this is like my favorite thing and I'm running out of them. They're like these flaky rotis. Since it's a sunny day, I wanna take advantage and film, but my friend Natasha just texted me saying that she's gonna go work somewhere at three and I kinda of wanna go because number one, like I said, I just need human interaction. And number two, I'm a little anxious because I wanted to like put out a lot of Austin content for South by Southwest but I just haven't really been prioritizing that. So I feel like I need to like sit down, like get all my thoughts together and then like create content from there. So I feel like that's a good game plan. Look at that flaky goodness. Here's lunch, this spinach and cheese dish. And I know one of my New Year's resolutions was to make an Indian food from scratch every month. And January has flown by and it's February now. So I didn't do that, but I'm not going to give up on that. I just need to like do some research. I don't even really know what I want to make, to be honest. Um, so if you guys have any Indian dishes that you really like and that are kind of on the easier side, please let me know because I think I'm just like dreading the act of making it because I know it's going to be a little bit complicated. I know there's so many easy dishes, but like it's also just scary to like fail because you know what they taste like and what if it's just not as good but i guess you know you'll never know until you try a little nail update one popped off and one is definitely close to it and i kind of just want to redo them because i don't think i'm going to do the gel x this time just because i feel like my natural nail is pretty long and i just want you know just a solid color this time i think i'm going to do red I don't know, that's like very out of my comfort zone. But anyways, I want them to be done for tomorrow. So I'm just like trying to let them all fall off. So I might look a little wonky for a little bit, but they're not gonna believe what just happened. I was gonna put the clothes in the dryer just to like get the wrinkles out. And I fucking broke my nail. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm so sorry for the language, but you're joking. I literally just said that I wanted to do my natural nails. With Natasha. Again. I know. Every day. <laughs> we love this for us. We're going to the salty. So good. Going to get some. Should we split a donut? Yeah. And get a donut? <laughs> I was going to say, I was trying to have one by myself. They okay. Donuts here too. Ooh. I just got ready for dinner. I had like 30 minutes to get ready um, and I'm rushing out the door because plans change. We're not going to Peacock unfortunately because the wait was until 9 p.m. and that was just too late. So we're going to pull those and never been there before. 
but we're eating Mexican for brunch tomorrow and tonight's food is Mexican and I'm honestly like that's not my favorite food. I do like tacos though. I haven't had tacos in a while. So I'll try to vlog some stuff on my phone camera, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Quick outfit check. I have my jacket. It's freezing outside. I have this top from Revolve. Jacket is from Pretty Little Thing. I know I said misguided earlier, but it's from Pretty Little Thing. I get all those places mixed up. Jeans are from Citizen, uh, Citizens of Humanity or something like that. And then boots are Dolce Vita. Okay, bye guys. We started off the night at Polvo's. We got a picture of margarita. Actually, we got two pictures of margaritas. And I got these really good street tacos. And then we headed over to Dirty Bill's. I think we went there at like eight. And I told Andy, I was like, felt like how it feels to see Space Mountain with the lights on because there was barely anyone there. And then Andy told me about these white tea shots. Apparently they're different than green tea shots. And I don't know, they kind of taste similar, but I did like them even though I'm making this face. But definitely go to Dirty Bill's if you guys are in town or if you live in Austin, it's so fun. It is a smaller bar, but the music there is always so good. I managed to wash my hair last night, blow dry it, do my skincare, and put my hair in the curling rod. I feel like that's pretty impressive. Um, I didn't really stay out too late, and I took like shots at the bar, and then literally 20 minutes later, I was like, okay, I think I should go home. And then I started to regret the shots, because of course, when I got home, I started feeling them. <laughs> Um, oh no no, oh goodness. I feel like whenever I wash my hair and put the curling rod in, like the day of or night of, they get so curly. I was trying not to make it really tight because I didn't want this to happen. So maybe we'll like run a straightener through it. We'll see. Just really don't love curling my hair anymore because now we have this invention and I like barely put heat on my hair. Well, I guess I blow dried it last night, so that's technically heat. It's time for some liquid IV. Honestly, I'm not even that hungover, but I just want to be at like my highest of energy today. Um, so let's do this. I love the orange flavor the best. I feel like this is kind of an old packet. So I don't know if they've come out with more flavors recently, but I also like the matcha one, but Orange is the best. What also helps the vibes a lot is to listen to music when you are getting ready. Usually I just listen to TikToks or watch YouTube or listen to podcasts, but honestly music is just the best to put you in like a good mood. This is the Luminous Putty Primer. This is what it looks like. And I used a little bit yesterday, but not like all over my face. Kind of feels like you're sticking your finger in butter. Like, I kind of like it. <laughs> I feel like I've just had really dry skin lately. Obviously it's the winter and my makeup can start to crease so easily, like around here and my upper lip gets really dry. I used to have like really bad eczema on my upper lip. Also, I talked about it on my Instagram stories yesterday, but I went through a lot of old pictures and I was like, what the heck? My makeup looks so good back then. What was I doing? It's so funny because I like usually do makeup tutorials, but I guess not often enough because I'm just like, what was I using back then? Um, so I'm trying to retrace my steps and trying to find my like holy grail products again. So I tried the luminous, um, the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani because I messaged this one influencer friend. Her makeup is always so flawless and this other girl was using it too and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out because I have it. And I liked it, but then yesterday I tried out the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish again um, and oh my God, makeup was giving. So I just have to go back to that. That's end of story and honestly I just wasn't wearing it for this whole time because I didn't think it was my color like I thought it was a little too orange but I didn't think I looked orange last night so we're gonna wear that again today because it looked so bomb. I just did my brows I fluffed them up but I'm gonna perfect them in a second but I also got new concealer because I wanted like a really light concealer like I want my under eyes to be popping not flashback Mary style but like you know Instagram baddie style. So I got this elf concealer in the color light beige and Again, I tried it out last night and I really really liked it. I love when I can find good drugstore products Why did I go so heavy on the concealer? 
I just kept putting it on because I was talking, I think. <laughs> if you could leave reviews on Spotify playlists, I would give this one a 1 out of 10. It's not good. I'm about to change it. Rose Ink Blush in the color Dahlia. I pulled this Refi eyebrow like gel out of retirement um, because I love when I see a TikTok of a product that I didn't like and then they show you how to use it properly. That's what happened with this. So I'm giving it a second try. Love these contour sticks. I use the shade 5.5 and it looks like this. It's like the perfect cool toned bronzer. They blend out really nicely too. I know it looks like there's a lot left, but there's really not. And this color is the banana bread powder from Huda Beauty. So I'm just gonna be very greedy with it. Kind of set it really quickly. And then we'll go in and kind of just like bake heavily um, with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Taking the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this is called Divine Neutrals. But we're just gonna take some browns and kind of put it all over our lids. Might do like a brown smoky wing. I feel like that would look cute and more natural. New favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I have actually been a very big hater of this because I tried it a while back and I was like, what the heck? It sucks. But honestly, it's just very different from what I usually use, which is the Lash Sensational because that one is more like volume, but this is more like separated, like lengthening. So. It's also kind of weird because it has like all different angles on the brush so you have to like specifically brush it from one angle and I never know which angle that is so I'm always trying to play around with it but I feel like I've kind of started to master using this mascara. In the past two months or so I was influenced by this ambient lighting palette um, and oh it's from Hourglass. Ugh. It has all these different like blushes, bronzers. I honestly haven't used this as much as I thought I would, but I wanted to try out the blush again. Gives a little pretty glow to it. I think we're done here. I'm a firm believer that my makeup gets way better throughout the day. Like at first it looks really cakey. I feel like it just needs to like melt into my skin and then it looks really good. So hopefully that happens throughout the day. Um, but I think I'm gonna make myself a little something like maybe a piece of toast or something we are going to brunch um at griselda's if i didn't say that already but i think i need something in my stomach right now put my straightener through my hair to make it less curly and it actually worked but now i feel like it's flat so we're gonna use the way texturizing spray this thing does wonders look at that <laughs> Oh my god, that did magic on my hair. Here's the outfit of the day. I'm renting this top on Fashion Pass. Jeans are from H&M and they're like kind of baggy, but I love where they hit me on the torso. The shoes are from Puma and they actually have a green stripe, which is kind of cool. And then this bag is from Marc Jacobs. The Marc Jacobs snapshot and then my sunglasses. They're from Amazon. I couldn't have asked for better weather to day drink. We started the morning off at Griselda's where they have bottomless mimosas for $20. You can also pay $6 for just one. A lot of people just got the Marks, which were really good. Food was pretty average. I definitely prefer to go here for dinner. I did end the brunch with one margarita because these are so strong. I just wanted a little boost of energy to go to Rainy. And then we got in our Uber, headed to Rainy. And it was really sad seeing all of the construction on Rainy. A lot of our favorite bars have been torn down to build high rises and apartments and it's just really sad because number one, I miss those bars. And then number two, I feel like Rainy's just so iconic and it's sad that it's not what it used to be. First, we went to Eisenhower's. I always try to stick to the same alcohol and it's always tequila, but they are known for their sangrias, I would say. Next, we went to Unbelievable, and you probably know it from this iconic slide. I always have to go down it. It's so fun. It's short, but it's fun. <laughs> and then our friend group decided to split this giant Moscow mule. I think we only got like the small 
smaller size. So this one was only $50 and we split it between, I don't know, eight, seven girls. Um, and it was really strong. Next, we went to Clive and we spent majority of the day here. Here's my friend giving me some hand lotion. She always has it on deck. This guy asked us to take a picture for Clive's Instagram and he treated us to some white tea shots after. Love that. I swear we were here for hours. We were up on the rooftop most of the time. But if you guys come during the night, they have the best DJs downstairs and it's a great like dancey vibe. We decided to leave Rainy and go to West 6th Street, which is one of my favorite places to go out in Austin. Somewhere in this mix, I had a half a pizza slice, but then we ended up at Key Bar, which might be my new favorite bar because the DJ was popping off and it was just the best vibe. I'm honestly shocked that I made it out the whole 12 hours. Like I didn't even plan on staying out this late, but then we went to my all-time favorite bar, Dirty Bills, for the second night in a row. And then I went home before 12.